What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition. Talk about Velocitol. Velocitol has gotten a lot of press lately because it's a very effective and patented ingredient. Let me tell you a little bit about Velocitol. It's protected with over 50 patents. It's a revolutionary ingredient that when used with protein is designed to accelerate and boost muscle protein synthesis. A key to enhance muscle growth, lean body mass, and quicker muscle recovery. It also enhances the insulinogenic fat, fat function, which increases amino acid uptake, providing fuel for your muscles. So you get the most out of your workout even after your workout. So the applications of this, I like to use it post-workout, have a post-workout product called Swoli. Also, if you took it in the morning, that will increase the absorption of your protein throughout the day for eight hours after you take it. So we include it in Ritual AM, which is basically a, a, something you drink in the morning. And by having that in there, it helps with your protein synthesis throughout the day. Now, there are studies done by it. Again, 50 patents over the world. It, be, it boosts MPS, which is muscle protein synthesis, well beyond protein lows, promotes lean body composition, doubles the power of protein on MPS versus protein alone in a single dose. And I'll explain that in a second. Unlocks the potential of protein to enhance muscle building activity after exercise. So here's the deal. So they did a study, they had two groups, a group with protein only and a group with velocitol and protein. The ingestion of a single dose of velocitol mixed with a dose of whey protein doubled the increase in muscle protein synthesis versus whey protein alone. The primary benefit of protein is to stimulate muscle protein synthesis, which affects the body's ability to be, build lean muscle, repair tissue, and all so on and so forth. The reason you take protein is the basic building block of muscle. Velocitol is formulated to enhance the insulinogenic properties, which by enhancing the insulinogenic properties, your body's insulin essentially output, it increases the amino uptake and provides full fuel for your muscles. So my application for this, again, one dose lasts a long time. So if you simply have, let's say Ritual AM in the morning, which has your full two grams, um, you're taking two scoops, one gram and one, you're good to go. But post-workout, you're taking in a bolus of protein and you want that protein to be absorbed better, more effectively, to help your body repair from the training it had. So that's why I included it in Swoli. Now, the reason I wouldn't include it in a protein shake, let's say, why wouldn't I put it in an MTS way? is because you're drinking multiple shakes a day. Myself, I have MTS weigh four times throughout the day. In between meals, I'll have two scoops here and there, so I can meet my gram per pound of a body weight of protein daily. I can't do that with just food, I just don't have the time. So I don't see it as a good addition to a protein shake, unless it's a protein shake you're only meant to be drinking once a day. However, I have it throughout the day. That's why by taking something like Swoli, which combines it with another ingredient called Aminogen 5X, or taking it in the morning right here. So if you took this at, let's say, you drank your coffee at 7 a.m., for eight hours thereafter, it will have the, in, in, the impact of increasing your muscle protein synthesis. So the thing about patented ingredients, the thing about using these branded ingredients is you have the studies to back it up, you have all the claims, you have the safety data, and that's why we don't just use any old ingredient from any old place. Again, this is a domestic ingredient by a company called Nutrition 21, who's a phenomenal company. So there you have it, guys. That's all you need to know about Velocitol. I think it's something that can enhance everybody's thing. Now, somebody asked me once on a Q&A, can I take in less protein if I use Velocitol? The answer is no. I still, and again, people are gonna argue and debate me. I wanna be safer than sorry. I still recommend for training athletes, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Not lean body weight, body mass, but body weight, total body weight. If you weigh 200 pounds, not the lean body mass of that, but all 200 pounds of you. So a 200 pound person would take in 200 grams of protein. That doesn't mean because Velocitol increases your protein synthesis, you should only take in 150 grams of protein. It just means that the 200 you take in will be that much more effective and increase your protein synthesis that much more. Anyway guys, hope you like this. And if you want to see a specific ingredient covered, let me know. We've had great videos on beta alanine, creatine, teacrine, a bunch of different stuff. But this is my wheelhouse, supplements. It's what I do. It's what I design. So I figure I should talk about it. Anyway, guys, please see the description box below. I have some examples of Velocitol. Even link up an article and tell you all about it in written form. And that's how I get it.